Hello everyone, I'm Brian Croy Dragon and, and welcome to Doki Doki Nether uh, Welcome to Doki Doki Nether Club Mod, a brand new day. This is a first for me doing mods of games instead of games that get mods. Oh, fuck you, telephone. You yeah, better make sure it's not important. I'll be right back. I know. Game front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, if I hadn't completed it, would I be playing less? Own girls are best girls. The hounds of this music. It feels like I'm in a dream. I see a dark void. Nothingness. Everything is cold and dead around me. I feel a voice speak directly into my mind. I'm doing what I can to help you, it's up to you now. You're starting to be a fucking hero. Both of us. Save. Them. All. I wake up in a cold sweat. I feel my skin crawling. I try to shake off the dream, but it was too real. Crap, I'm going to be late for school. I'm pulling a Sayori. Really, pulling a Sayori, that's a thing in this game. <laughs> uh, I hurry up and get ready for school, eat a quick breakfast, and rush to Sayori's house. In this game, I should say in this mod. Aha, uh -huh, I finally beat you here. What took you so long? You're normally out before me. I guess you win my title now for champion of being late. Are you ready to go? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. You're already sorry about that. Brian, you're apologizing to me? Wow, there must be something wrong with you. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly, increasingly, uh, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. What got you out of bed so early today? Well, today is opening ceremony for seniors this year, and I'm finally getting you to join my club today. Hmm, I don't remember saying that I would join. Yes, you did. Don't you remember, Sally? Um, no, I don't remember at all, honestly. Well, I remember hearing you say yes, especially when you heard we were bringing cup cakes. Is the main character a glutton in this? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I am not saying that. Cupcakes, my only weakness. Latin cute girls. I clear my throat and adjust my uniform as it became disheveled from the cup cakening.
Well, if you put it that way, I'll come visit the club at least. Let me partake in one of your cupcakes, and then I won't see. Yay! Well, asking, I think, dangerously of cupcakes. I start needlessly drooling while staring at Sayori. <laughs> Is everything all right? You're looking at me kind of weird. But there's still the anime club. I can hang out with all the other dudes. I can watch anime, read manga, and play games. No, don't do that! I should do the right thing and check it out. I bet she might want me to join her instead. After all, she's been bugging me since forever. I don't want to leave her hanging. Anime club don't pick this, dummy. Sayori's club of awesomeness. Well, if I pick this, the game will be pretty short. This is... What club are you gonna pick? <laughs> uh. Wait, really? You know I can't resist your sweet temptations of... Cupcakery? Okay, so that's an at sign, and so fatic. Okay, this <clears throat> fatic is yeah. I mean, yay! The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. Took damn long enough. Why didn't he decide to make opening day Sunday this year? Sunday isn't even an official school day? What the f- Okay, then. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. I'm bored as hell. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs, specifically her club. I start to daydream of little cupcakes jumping into my mouth. A little cupcake sentient. Because all I'm thinking are the inhabitants of the candy kingdom from Adventure Time jumping into someone's mouth. I begin to drool again. Hello, Arthur Brian! Huh? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spaced out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I know I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here, spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Sorry, I can't stop thinking about devouring those sweet, sweet... Cupcakes. Oh god, I'm starting to have black adder flashbacks. He's like Baldrick, except instead of turnips, it's cupcakes he's obsessed with. You didn't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you know. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori? Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, you meanie! I remember now Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 100% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of Vice President. That said, my interest is guaranteed to be even less. I'm just kidding, after all, I promise you to come and want to partake in the cupcakes.
Yes, let's go! I can almost taste no sweet, sweet cupcakes. Seriously, every almost every line involves cupcakes. Unless today marks the day I sold my son for cupcakes. But it's worth it. Wait, I've seen this before, right? I did not need to follow Sayori across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom doors, nearly ripping the doors from their hinges? What la? Damn, this girl is crazy. <laughs> I gotta remember not to get on her bad side. <laughs> oh my god! Is this real? Is this a joke mod? Is this actually... <laughs> Fresh me is here, bitches! Uh, I mean, we got a new member to join our literature club. <laughs> Sayomi, I told you not to call me that. What, fresh meat or a new member? Oh, sorry! I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature... So Monica has gotten already into uh, the corrupting of the girls. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. Sayori always says nice things about you. I, I heard you're quite the charmer. Okay, Sayori is telling everyone about me. I gotta be careful. Sayori, a boy? Really? This was supposed to be a gold power forever thing. Now you brought some worthless man meat into the free? Well, you might like my... Mm. No, not gonna say it. Not gonna be one of those kind of... people. Of course, I did say nice knockers when I first saw Yuri, so what Devon says it makes. You might like my man meat. Ready to kill the atmosphere! Worthless man meat? You got a problem with me? Sarcastic undertone. She's got spunk. I think this girl would be interesting in the very least. Don't call me short, I'll teach you how to bow to the master! Natsuki makes hand gestures that look like. Sony Chiba's palm strikes from the bones. Wait. Sony Chiba, I feel like I've heard that name before. Oh, he was in Street Fighter, I think. Oh my god, he, that character he played was a psycho. Path. Ah, Brian, what a nice surprise. Yes, Monica, nice to see you again. I mean, welcome back from the club. <laughs> Brian, nice to see you here again. Uh, um, hi. Yeah, Monaco, it's been what? A few days? A couple of weeks? I can't seem to shake these shivers down my spine like I felt I've had this repeat before hundreds if not thousands of times. What does she mean again? I try to shake it off. The shivers subside. Onwards escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Well, despite my past with Monica, I well admit she is cute. 
I must be as dumb as a bag of bricks to notice this. Ah! Mm. Just one that again. I must be as dumb as a bag of bricks to not notice this before. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it! I was looking at a bunch of cute girls. I don't know what else to say. That's silky. Hmm! The girl with a sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figures make her. Ugh! This one again. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Well, from the research I put in after my playthrough of the original, she's 18. They all are. She is also the one who made the cupcakes, according to, to Sayori. So why are you here? It's not just for the cupcakes, right? Oh, oh crap, she knows! No, no, I came here to check this place out because Sayori keeps waiting. Ah, oh, let's try that again. No, no, I came here to check this place out because Sayori keeps wanting me to check this place out and joined. I finally gave in. Hmm, are you sure about that? My cupcakes are to die for! Brian, didn't you know she's the same year as us? Haven't you noticed that already? Sayori says that quietly into my ear. I whisper back to Sayori, but she's so tiny, how is that possible? From the research I put in, malnutrition. Sayori shrugs, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyways, this is not Suki. She's always full of energy, more certainly from the sugar hearts from eating all the cupcakes. And this is Yuri. She's the smartest member in the club. D don't say things like that. You're embarrassing me. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki, who look like they're holding hands. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. I guess it's nice to meet you, Brian. After all, Sayori said how fresh you are. Hold on. Dictionary time. It's your fresh fruit, fresh sheet of paper, a fresh approach, fresh recruits. Oh, here we are. Informal. Don't get fresh with me. Impudent, brazen, shameless, forward, bold, cheeky, impertinent, insult, insolent, presumptuous, disrespectful, rude, pert, as bold as brass, sassy, saucy, leppy, Mouthy antonyms polite. Yes, I know. I said dictionary, but the app is called dictionary. So what am I gonna do? And besides, just the the service section. Let's take a look at the presumptuous or accident towards someone, especially in a sexual way. Some of the men try to get fresh with the girls. Is she employing the my? Character is impotent. Wait, what? Impudent. Is she trying to imply my character is impudent or presumptuous towards someone in a sexual way? Oh, God. Is, is my character like that with Sayori? Was that a joke? Nice. I don't know. What kind of fresh is she talking about? What's that supposed to mean, Brian? You should know after calling me man meat after all. And when just a piece of meat to these girls? I don't have a pretty handsome one. Hello, ladies. Okay, carrying on. 
I'm confused. Oh, it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Brian. Monica smiled sweetly. Oh crap, I really had no idea Monica was here. Wait, how do I know Monica again? I know basically she's completely out of my league, but why do I think that? I try to remember Monica, but can't. My mind is jumbled. I feel so conflicted right now. Is it self-doubt? I think harder. That feeling I had is gone now. I feel like nothing will stop me this time. You too, Monica. Let's have a great year together. Better yet, let's hang out more this time, okay? What did you just say to me? Hang out more? Monica pauses in thought. Come sit down, Brian! We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes! Hey, I made them, I'll get them! Sorry, I got a little too excited. And how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. I feel different today for some reason, like I have found newfound conf- Ugh, this one again. I feel different today for some reason, like I, I have newfound confidence. I sit next to Monica. Just Monica. Monica looks in shock at me. Um, Brian, why are you sitting next to me? Wouldn't you rather sit next to Sayori? No, it's not a problem with me sitting here. Well, eh, <laughs> this is new to me. I really don't know what to say. I wink back at Monica. She gets even more flustered. Cute. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! I'm not saying that. Natsuki lifts the form off the train to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little Nyan cats. The whiskers are... The whiskers and face are drawn with icing. And little pieces of chocolate were used to make the Pop-Tart. What? They even have rainbow icing. Uh, oh, I'm gonna lose my voice. So cute! Mm. Uh, uh, wrong, wrong girl, wrong girl, wrong girl. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> Round you now. Just hurry and take one. Sorry, grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori tucks with her mouth full, and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I viciously devour the Narian cat cupcake with no more she won't. Humming the Narian Cat song. I don't know what that is. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. Like I can taste the love put into the cooking. I wonder if she made it herself. You bake this, Natsuki? It's amazing. With those skills, you'll make a wonderful wife. Does that point literal? Oh, who cares? What did you say? Why would you say that? It's not like I... Mail them for you or anything? Yeah, I. I geez, my character's an asshole. I thought you did, so you already said. Well, maybe. But not for y y no, you. You. No. You, dummy! Alright, alright. Natsuki's weird logic fails to work on me. Oh no, now that I think of it. How I tried to compliment that Suki about the cupcake may have sounded more like a sexist insult instead. Oh yeah, you think? 
dummy! Ugh, what's wrong with me today? Why am I acting so strange? Does my character have matrimonial intentions for Natsuki? Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a home tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Sure, a nice warm drink can help relax the mind and body. <laughs> ah, wrong voice. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Well, it's working. No, that's not. Pissed, Yuri looks away. I meant that you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but uh, I at least enjoy tea as well. And oh, I do in like I do enjoy tea, but I also like reading. <sighs> I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica stares at me, raises an eyebrow, and smiles at me. I smile back. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, <laughs> interesting you ask that question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. I was straight here by Sayori, but the cupcakes were the clincher. I'm a sucker for cupcakes. Oh, yeah, don't tell her. I was dragged here by Sayori. That's great. You're really going to love Natsuki's cupcakes. They're my favorite. What do you mean? This is my first time bringing them. Well, make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Ah uh ha -huh ha, -huh. well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget. And publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader! Yuri also nods in agreement. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We all do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. That's why, maybe that's why they were all so delighted when the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. It's just strange. There aren't any more members. So Brian, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read in these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Oh my god! Hinter, uh, I mean manga! I mutter quietly to myself. 
Natsuki's head suddenly perks. Oh no. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, well, that can change. I'm always open to try to new to try new things. What the hell am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her cheek up with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's so obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it, isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deliberate? Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, oh, I read a, a horror book once. The ones I like are the ones that give you a false sense of security, then bam, they got you. I desperately grasp from something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well we having co a conversation with a rock. Really? Have I never expected that, Yuri? For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if it's a story that makes me think. Or takes me to another world. Then I really can't put it down. So you like stories about other realities as well? So real horror is often very successful in changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror! Oh, more slat. Well, I just... Nozuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind! That's right, you usually write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What, what gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looks like you were working on a poem called Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes! Your poems! Everything's, everything you do is just as cute as you are! So you already started up behind that Suki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'M NOT! That, that's not from the original game, that's new. I'M NOT CUTE! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Well, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you show them sometimes? I would love to have seen them. No, no! Nasuki adverts her eyes. You wouldn't like them! Will he try me? I understand how Natsuki feels. How so? Showing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exploding your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. I agree. If you don't show your writing to others, how will you know if others will like it or hate it? Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you should air some of your work, you can set an example and have that Suki feel comfortable enough to share hers. You'll never know unless you try. I love to write, but I was scared to show off my work to others, especially my stories. So I guess it's the same for Yuri. 
Oh, I want to read everyone's poems. Me too. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Not. Nasuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Brian? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club, but the cupcakes were so delicious. So Yuri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I'm so overwhelmed on all the pretty girls around me, I kind of forgot about joining. I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm! <laughs> Brian, you you all, I'm I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. My mind flashes back from the dream I had last night. My head throbs in pain. You know what? This is a brand new day for me. There is a cupcake in the air. Okay, I've decided, everyone, I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls are snitting up. Yes, I'm so happy! So Yori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, that kind of feels good, actually. Don't stop, okay? You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just gave all the cupcakes, I would be super pissed! Honestly, it was for the cupcakes. I love cupcakes, but I realized there was much more from this club that I want to stay. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Thanks, I'm happy to be here. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember today tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting's so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Brian, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I really make Monica and the rest of the girls fall head over heels for me? Oh, I think Monica already has. For a second time. If not already. If she's not already, I mean. I already feel the determination rolling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Brian, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Yuri, uh, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. This is great. I've been only walking home by myself all this time. I did not say Yuri. Me? Feeling lonely? I usually don't feel anything. I'm starting to feel different. Maybe since after that dream, I'm starting to understand more around me than I did before. Sure, for our best friends for, right? Yay! Uh, okay, I'll save. And that's all for today, everyone. I'm Brian Croydragon, signing out. Stay Shrey!